So before I uh, put this, take my other lathe apart and put this one together, I wanted to see where I would be locating it on the stand. So I think I've got it fairly well centered now. Then I'll mark the locations and drill the holes. Well, after my previous fiasco with the uh, misaligned holes, I wised up, <clears throat> measured everything, lined it out, and now I'm going to punch them <laughs> to center mark the locations. So, I definitely cannot get them wrong this time. So there's my whole locations. There and there. Well, once again, getting this thing, especially since it's got the legs welded on there, to sit relatively securely and accurately in position. Involved a little bit of ingenuity. Had to swivel the head on the drill press and build a little stand so it sits level. And now I get to drill. the other three holes. Little uh, little surface makes it difficult to see, but reasonably accurate holes and I even deburred the edge with a little bit of a countersink. Clean them up. Well, after conveniently forgetting that uh, 8 millimeter approximately five sixteenths uh, was bigger than the little six millimeter or quarter inch holes that I'd drilled previously I had to go back and drill out the holes a little bit larger luckily I already had the locations marked so that was quick and easy And so, after a few seconds of fighting, I now have all of the bolts 
Let's see if I can get a good angle on it. Now I have all of the bolts in place. Whoops, there we go. Put down in there. See the bolt heads on the other end, maybe. A little difficult to see, but anyway, it is there. Uh, now I can proceed to tear down, tear down my, the seven by ten, and get ready to start doing work on this bed. Said I uh, got to drill and tap a total of nine holes. That's for the lead screw mounts and the uh, rack which mo which drives the carriage